Hey everyone, welcome to InspirationalWordsToday.com. I am your host, Daryl Evans, and we're back for uh, actually the second post on my brand new blog and brand new inspirational community. Uh, first of all, let me thank everybody who has subscribed to the newsletter after just one day. Um, also, everyone who's written some comments on the blog as well as uh, connected with me at Facebook and sent me some personal messages. Um, I gotta tell you, it has meant, uh, an, um, it has been amazing just over the weekend. So I wanna keep this going, I wanna build the momentum, I wanna get you in action, I wanna help you destroy some limiting beliefs and really get your year off great. This particular post today, this topic today, I have had to be up close and personal with my entire life. I started my leadership slash professional development slash coaching and mentoring career really at the age of 19, if you can believe that. And that was a period of time in my life where it really surprised me that I was being chosen for leadership. And I didn't know quite why, but I had to believe right away that I could accept the challenge that was given to me. Now, I don't wanna go into it too long today. I just wanna get into the formula that I think you need to embrace, that you need to have, as you get after your goals. Now listen, if you haven't listened to the other video, the first post for the year, I, I need you to go back and listen to that. If you've stumbled on this on the internet, on YouTube somewhere, um, and you haven't watched the first post, go back to um, throw out your goals and just decide, and go ahead and go through that exercise and find out what has to happen this year so that you can be successful at the end of the year. Because without knowing where you're going, you'll never get there. So today I wanna to give you my belief formula. It's an acronym and it's something I absolutely believe in. I believe that if you can take the word belief and break it down in an acronym, I think you can be successful if you apply, if you apply these, uh, these definitions behind it or these ideas. So let's get right into it. Let's go for the B in belief. I say that that B stands for bury negative words. Bury the negative words from your past. You know, we've all been told, no, we can't do it. We've all been told by uh, some Monday morning quarterback who said, I told you it wouldn't work. You know what? Forget that. You know, we've got either negative friends, negative family members, negative coworkers. That's just the way the world is. You have to get away from those negative words. You have to get away from those negative setbacks. You have to get away from those negative failures. The second thing you got to do is E, you have to eliminate negative people from your corner. Now this can be a little tough and this could be a little controversial because sometimes the most negative people in your life could be a spouse, it could be a parent, it could be your best friend, and that could be challenging. I gotta tell you, in the last 10 years uh, over my business career, I have told one person, only one person, everything that I had planned as a goal and a dream. And the reason why it was only one person was because I knew he would A, tell me the truth, B, be unopinionated, C, be a supportive person, whether he believed I could do it or not, he would support me, and D, he'd pick me up when I fell. That was a best friend of mine, and, and I don't know if he wants his name revealed here, so I'll leave it off for now, but if he's watching this, he knows who it is. Anyway, so you've gotta get these negative people out of your corner. Now, honestly, I'd rather have a bigger mastermind than one, but if it's only one, so be it. L, let's go to the L. I believe you gotta look forward and not back. Now, looking back's okay if you're studying your past successes and trying to extract what went well so you can move forward. But I really believe so hard, there's a, there's a Bible scripture that says, looking forward, not, you know, forgetting what lies behind and reaching to what lies before and press towards that. That's what I think people fail to do. It doesn't matter what you wanna do and how big of a goal it might be, but you can't keep looking back over your shoulder at what didn't go right, when you finished second, when it didn't turn out the way, you know, when, when, the way it planned, uh, when the blast relationship fell off. Uh, it doesn't matter. You know, if you're having chill challenges with your child. My, my son uh, did something pretty crazy about two years ago. If I constantly was, was judging him about that, then we wouldn't be able to move forward. And he got by that in just a matter of time because we were able to look forward towards how he could progress. You've got to continually look forward. Let's talk about the I. I believe the I stands for investigate your options. Investigate a new strategy. Investigate new ways to get it done. 
And I believe there's, there's either a model out there, there's a person out there, there's a coach out there, there's somebody who's done what you want to do, and they can help. And you might be surprised to find out that it's free to find out how to get the resources and the necessary tools to reach the goals that you want to reach. Okay, so let's get into the next step of the formula, and that's the E in belief. Uh, but before we do, let's go ahead and backtrack for a second. The B stood for bury negative words, bury those past negative events. E standed for eliminate negative people in your life. L stands for look forward, not back. I was investigate new options, new strategies, a new formula. I call it getting a model of who's done it well, so you can follow that. The E stands for energy. Energy. I believe you've got to get enough going in your process, enough, you've got to take enough steps to gain some energy that's consistent. Uh, we know about it in working out. Anybody who's achieved some workout goals, uh, reached some levels of success in the area of fitness, knows that you've got to take those daily actions. And it hurts in the beginning. It hurts like, and I know, it hurts. It hurts to get up early, it hurts to change your diet, it hurts to get through that workout session, and if you're working with a coach, you know good and well. They're gonna push you and they're not gonna let you off the hook. But once you get through that, you start to gain momentum, you start to feel better. And this goes for a lot of other things. I don't wanna get long-winded on it, but it happens in business, it happens in sports, it happens in getting through college or going through school, being a parent, having the energy to get through uh, you know, work and, and, and all of the other things that are involved in being a parent. But you gotta have some energy. The last thing is F, focus. You've gotta have a massive focus on what it is you wanna accomplish. If you did the exercise of knowing in your mind what has to happen this year, you've gotta find a way to get focused. Now, chances are you can't throw all of your responsibilities out the door to get focused on those what has to happen items this year. So that means you've gotta take some off time or some off hours. And I'm gonna tell you what that means. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you what I had to do. I had to cut out some television, not that I even watch a lot, but I cut out the news, not that I even watched a lot, but I had to start carving back some of the time in the day that I wasn't able to allocate towards the goals I wanted to reach. And I've had to do this on any type of push towards any goal I've accomplished literally since I was a kid. So the belief formula is what's necessary in order to succeed this year in your goals. I hope that you did your, your exercise. I hope that this belief formula will give you some ideas and some systems. I hope you will plug in and get subscribed to the community, the newsletter, so you can be first to know when I update this and keep going. I will be posting daily, week, uh, uh, five days a week, week by week by week throughout this year. I'm gonna build a whole system for you, I believe, that'll take you to a new dimension. If you haven't subscribed over at our YouTube channel, you can do that. Uh, if you wanna subscribe with us over at Facebook, be my friend at Facebook, you can find me there. Uh, on Twitter, of course, as well as go ahead and subscribe here at the community. And please, please, always post your comments. I welcome everything you have to say. Um, again, the goal is to teach you, lead you, inspire you, coach you, be your friend, and just help you do what you want to do. This is Daryl Evans with Inspiration Words Today, and I'll see you next time.